Hi, my name is Sharif al -Gimal. I was born in Brooklyn to a Polish Catholic mother, to an Egyptian Muslim father. I've lived all over New York, from Brooklyn to Manhattan to Long Island. New York is home. I feel with my experiences that I am a global citizen. My family is very diverse. My wife's family is Christian. I have a Jewish sister-in-law. I have a beautiful wife, an incredible woman by my side. Her name is Rebecca. I have two of the most beautiful daughters. Their names are Sarah and Jenna. I'm a real estate developer, an investor, and a philanthropist. After 9-11, I became curious about my faith in Islam. And I started praying at a masjid called Masjid Manhattan, which is on Warren Street. And they had been there for over 35 years, four blocks from the World Trade Center. The thing that I noticed is that there was such an overflow of people that were praying on the streets, that were praying on the sidewalks. The space was just purely overfilled. And I made a pact to help my community find a prayer space. During this hunt, um, which I've been on for, you know, over the last, for, for the last eight years, I also realized that there was a tremendous need for a community facility to cater to the residential community of Lower Manhattan, which is the fastest growing residential community. And so I saw an opportunity for us as Americans and as Muslims to give back to our community and to build a world-class facility that would serve all people of faith and people of no faith. And it would be modeled after the Jewish Community Center, after a YMCA, after other world-class institutions, but that it would be Islamic in essence, that it would be a place where we as Muslims through actions can show people who we are. My hopes for the near future are that people who don't understand what we're trying to do really give us a chance. That people that have questions that are sincere in their intentions, reach out to us and get involved. My goals for the near future are finalize the first round of the board of directors, to have the community start shaping the different committees that are going to ultimately define the community center. For people that have questions or who are misinformed about what we're trying to do, come to us. Our doors are open. We have nothing to hide. This is a facility to serve all of Manhattan and all of New York.